I took extra punishment so I could please the people. You know, when I was when I was hurt, and they believed I was hurt. And then when he got, when the when the guy came after me wide open, looking to knock me out, then I, I exploded. But very few guys fight, fight like I fight because he he got a really take a good punch, and I and I took a lot of punches. But I made him miss a lot of punches. The real hard, hard punches, I, I made them miss. Not all of them, lost, lost, slipped in. But the fact that when they did land, it didn't bother me. And when I trained the, the narrow for the fight, and I saw I boxed, I boxed over a thousand rounds with Robert De Niro. That's true. And but to get him to, to fight and develop the way he did, I made him, he was afraid to hurt me. He was afraid to hurt me. I said, you can't hurt me. I got the secret of, of taking punishment. You hit me all you want, it won't bother me. He started, he started to develop a little courage and then when he got on, he could have fought professional. What was the secret of taking punishment? Take that. I learned the secret long, long time ago. You ever play a hard ball? Yeah. You know, a hard ball with a glove and a ball, and you hold your hand out, and the horse let it stay there, the ball's going to sink and hurt your hand. But if you give it a little movement with it, same thing with a punch, whenever you know that the hard punch is going to land, or easy punch, no matter, no, 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 no matter what. It's a little flick. And if it did land sometimes, you ride with it. I, I knew the secret of, 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 I developed it better as I went along. Some guys might have learned that secret also, but I doubt most fighters that they never knew about that. So a lot of punches that I did, they, they thought I was going to get knocked out with, I just rolled with the punch. And once in a while when I, when I slipped, and I got hit solid, I was able to take a good punch. I didn't bother me anyway. That's why the crowds loved you, because you, you could yeah. look like you were taking the punches. That's yeah. why they came to see yeah. you. But that was not the reason. The reason was that, uh, uh, that was one of the reasons. But that was the secret of not getting hurt. A lot of times I took some good punches. But the fact that I didn't move with the punch like I hit solid made me uh, not mind so much because I, I knew how to take a good punch anyhow. That was like a golden era for boxing. Uh, New York was the, the most important place in the world for boxing because there were so many world champions here. Why, is, why did that disappear? Why, why is it not still the most important place There's in the world? There's a lot of champions today too, aren't there? There are, but not as many as when, when you were around. No, no, it's more around now. Today we got super light heavyweight champion, super middleweight champion, super welterweight champions, champion. You know, all these supers, there's more fighters that are champions today than there ever was before. Do you think they're as good now as they were? Huh? Do you think they're as good as, as when you were around? Uh, well, they're not as bad, they're not as good, they're about, about the same. But uh, they're getting more, much more money now. And they're getting much more money now. And, and they don't have the desire to fight anymore. In my day, there was not much money around in the days. I fought 106 fights. And I fought the toughest guys in the world. And nobody else wanted to fight. I fought all the black men. Nobody wanted to fight the black men, nobody wanted to fight me, so we ended up fighting each other and making a living. We're making a living. Thank God for the black men. Otherwise, I would have I would hardly worked it for me to be a fighter. So every chance I got, I fought. Because I needed the money. I fought 106 fights. And hundred and six pounds, and I made less than three quarters of a million dollars. 
that's that's less than just just about fifty thousand a year, seventy five thousand a year. I thought I was fighting the best fighters in the world. I was getting no money, but I kept fighting more often. I made a good living at that time. It was considered a good living. Today they get twenty, thirty million to fight, and they they, they can't even fight six rounds. Oh yeah, they don't know the difference. They don't have that much experience today. It was worth it, do you think? All those fights. I mean, you've become a legend. Well, say it again. You've become a legend because you fought so often. Very few people did it. Well, I, I was a legend before I was fighting. I, I, I fought the greatest fighter in the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. Twice in three weeks. Could you believe something like that? It seems like the greatest fighter in the world. I fought him twice, and, three, and he went the distance. Both I was the first one to beat him, and then he beat me. We had close fights. We had close fights. We respected one another. We trained hard, and we, we, I gave you a lot of good stuff. You did. You did. It's brilliant, man. Thanks a million. <laughs>